inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. Hey ladies, good morning. It's Friday and I'm feeling groovy. Yes, for those of you all that don't know, celebrate with me. Yesterday was my nine-year anniversary. Mr. Crenshaw and I have been together for 13 years, but we were married on October 17th in 2010. And we had a great time. It was absolutely wonderful. And so I'm high and I am here today to talk to you all, to give you your nugget, to give you that food for thought, to help you propel yourself forward in business. And you guys know I like to talk about the stuff that isn't necessarily always brought up. And there's this little word called research. And I know a lot of people don't like to hear it or I hear people say things like, you know, I'm I'm only competing against myself. It doesn't matter what anybody else is doing. And that that really does get on my nerves, because as far as personal development is concerned and improving. Yeah, you're always racing against you. You're always trying to be the bigger, better version of you. But in business, at the end of the day, people do something that's called comparison shopping. And they can like you and like me and somebody else. And we all can offer similar products. And it can ultimately boil down to who they like the most. But it might be like, well, hey, if all of them are cool, then the question is, which one do I work with? And I'm going to give you an example from personal experience. There was this woman, I worked with her and she made almost $30,000 with me in under two months. She could have renewed a contract with me. Or she could have, I mean, well, upgraded because she did a a seven week program or she could have worked with this other woman and two other women. And I remember one day having a conversation with her because we were close friends and she's like, oh my God, I just don't know what to do. And I feel bad for saying this to you. And I already knew what was going on. I was like, feel bad because of what, you know, what do you want? And so she said, well, oh, this person is, you know, doing a seminar, a webinar, and she's going to talk about every single thing that she did in order to be able to become a millionaire. And then this other person over here, you know, she's already a multiple six figure earner. I want her lifestyle. You know how they say you need to work with somebody who is where you want to go, but then, you know, my business inside and out, and you've already given me so much success. And I just don't know which one to choose. Yeah, that's the kind of shit that's going on, you guys. Now, all of you all just aren't privy to those kind of conversations where somebody's actually telling you that they're looking at multiple people. That means that there's competition right there. And there are certain things that are going to make the difference. Now, I honestly, 
I don't know what she would have chose. I did talk her out of one of those. I did. I told her, I said, you know, let's just be real. First of all, such and such, who's a seven figure, multiple seven figure earner at that, who's made other multiple six figure earner and seven or figure earners, you already know she marketing her ass off and she's going to come and tell you her seven, five or nine pillars or whatever it is, but you ain't going to be able to think your way through it and effectively accomplish it. She's looking for that one person that's going to go ahead and put 50,000 or 100 racks on the line to sign up and work with her. Or you're going to come out of $2,500 to $5,000 for one of her programs that you're going to go through by yourself and still try to figure shit out. And you already did that stuff before me. And you know that you need someone else working with you because you know the way that your mindset is. And I love you. You might have made a lot of money working with me, but you know good and damn well you cannot afford her. And she was like, yeah, you right. Yeah, but you had your head in the clouds because you want them seven figures. And so ultimately what she ended up saying to me is, well, I want such and such as lifestyle. I want what she has. And, and don't get me wrong. That doesn't mean that that person wasn't a good coach for her. It doesn't help her. I was just sitting there. I said, well, then go where your heart feels led to, you know, because I wasn't going to have a conversation with her and try to convince her to work with me. I wasn't going to sell her on me. There's some other things, too. I didn't uh, other reasons why I, I didn't, you know, personally go ahead and pursue her. I could have. Um, but the point is at the end of the day, without thinking about all of that shit is the point that she was looking at multiple offers from three different women that could help her. Okay. So you can go right on ahead and pretend like, yeah, you're just this unique thing. And the only thing you're competing against is yourself and, and what's going on in the marketplace doesn't matter, but you're alive. I got another client, um, that I formerly work with one-to-one -one that I know is coming back around who created a product. And her price point on her product, I looked at it and it's my opinion. Don't, and this is real. I tell my clients what I'm thinking for real and they can move accordingly. But I honestly believe that when she created her product, she priced it based off of the time it took her to create it, not the long-term value of it. She didn't see it as this is something that's going to be sold for many, many, many moons and, you know, Let's just say the product is $500 and then she's getting minimal sales. Like it's, it's really cool to know that there are some people out there that will pay $500 for it. But, you know, let's just say she got three people. So, bam, she's got $1,500. But if she would have priced it at $100, then at the price point that people that valued it also could afford it and would have paid and just also seen the value in it. If she would have went ahead and changed that price point. And said, you know what? I'm going to make this bad boy $100. And if she got 100 people to buy it, she could have made 10 grand. Not only would she have made 10 grand, she would have impacted more people. Not only would she have impacted more people, she would have had more people that could be referrals for her. And who knows, as life goes on and time progresses, she could become the go-to person. And as she continues to create bigger and better products, that same thing that's $100 now may be $500 later. Some of you all are promoting your ass off. You showing up, whether it's live video, whether it's copy or whatever it is that you're putting out there, but your products still aren't moving. Don't be afraid to say, okay, let me see what's going to work this time. You got to figure out what the market could bear. It's that simple. So research, 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 research. Not and, and then and, and when you research, you know, to keep you from charging twenty five dollars for something that should be one hundred and fifty, just don't don't narrow your search to that. Research it with other go getters. Look at the low end and the high end. Look at products. You sometimes you even just need to buy the damn competitor's product, buy their product and look at it. So you can see what makes their so uniquely different. Maybe you're missing one little bitty key thing in the customer experience. I don't know. But research. Do your due diligence, okay? That's your nugget for today. Thank you for everything. We will be taking this conversation deeper at aclive.co. So if you have not become a member, come on, ladies. Let's get over there, sisters, and so we can deal with, talk about things that are important to us and take a deeper dive into the things that are impacting the way that we are growing as business owners so that we don't just claim our space in entrepreneurship. We remain in position. All right, deuces. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. 
See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless. Signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher. Unlock the fire in 